uh, one thing that the internet holds out for many many people is the end of the entire cycle based on the concept of office culture and commuting uh, most people who work in offices don't need to go to the office now and the momentum continues to have commuting and so forth but when these corporations realize how much money they could save by telling people to stay home uh, office culture is just going to dissolve overnight well then uh, something like 65 percent of all automobile travel is in the pursuit of m moving to and from the job uh, that could all be eliminated uh, I think the the internet is the physical analog to the psychedelics until the internet arose it was very hard for me to see um, how we were going to get from here to the Omega point now I have no problem it's all in place I mean the internet has to grow faster it has to the bandwidth has to be expanded the codes have to be simplified the protocols have to be simplified and everybody has to be brought online when that happens I think uh, there will be a kind of natural reorganization of society because what we're living in and this is a McLuhanist rap what we're living in is a linear print created world it was created by print heads they couldn't help themselves they thought they were normal human beings but they were very very dramatically distorted by their relationship to typography and they created this kind of world well now we're moving into the era of electronic culture and all kinds of phenomenon associated with the old way of doing things are going to disappear for example uh, a quality of print culture was the phenomenon called mass media mass media is finished it doesn't make any sense anymore uh, uh, mass media is one to many communication and what the internet offers is any to any communication you know we all have contempt or I assume we do or mild contempt for the tabloid newspapers that we see when we check through the grocery store elf or, or dwarf rapes none fleas in UFO uh, that kind of thing well but now let's think about the New York Times for a moment the New York Times is designed for what to be read by millions of people who would want to read something designed to be read by millions of people the very nature of the goal indicates that there will be very little there for you uh, all, only to the degree that you share some interests with all these other millions of people and many of these interests are artificially created by the media so uh, other notions that were put in place by print print I think did I mention this last night about the interchangeability of type how I didn't okay type as you know is interchangeable manuscript is not that simple notion of the interchangeability of the subunits of a technology permit two incredible things in our world uh, the idea of the citizen the citizen and uh, the idea of the unique individual and also modern industrial techniques of manufacture the assembly line is essentially where you build things the way you print things you assemble the parts you assemble the small parts and create completed objects so this notion that stresses uniformity interchangeability and co-equality of subunits creates the entire political and social ambiance of the post-renaissance mind now something entirely different is happening uh, the new media is non-linear it, it uh, doesn't require uh, lockstep uh, acquiescence in a model 
of behavior. That's why fringe elements, which were kept very much at the fringe through the reign of print, have in the 20th century broken out and managed to set the agenda of much of society. So things, uh, things like surrealism, jazz, uh, ethnic consciousness, uh, homosexuality, different styles of dissent have in the 20th century all gained a great deal more prominence as the print culture gave way to the electronic culture. And in the future, I think uh, these enormous structures which we're asked to participate in are just going to fade away like national governments. I think basically we're going to live in a world which has only two levels. The local level, basically your watershed, and the planetary level. And the systems of control that lie between those two levels will be very thin and, and, uh, and invisible. S uh, a tremendous leveling of information takes place. The print game is a game of privilege. Information confers power, and if you have it, you hold it. The electronic game uh, is a game where all information is equally accessible and shareable, and it creates a different and more egalitarian information field.